What's up, Comic Book Nation? Lucas Siegel here, filling in once again for Brandon Davis, who we're pretty sure was eaten by a crocodile down under. Goodbye, Brandon. We'll miss you. We've got lots of news today. We've got Star Wars news from Adam Driver. We've got Chadwick Boseman teasing his role in Infinity War. Melissa McBride talking about Carol's Season 7 romantic possibilities on The Walking Dead. Kurt Russell with a fresh take on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And some Microsoft Xbox gaming news. Let's get started. Adam Driver says that Star Wars Episode 8 has a huge tonal shift compared to The Force Awakens. He compared the shift to the one that was seen from A New Hope to Empire Strikes Back. Now, remember, he's not saying that Episode 8 is going to be the same as Empire Strikes Back. He's just saying that the tonal shift is the same size. Driver also had a lot of praise to heap upon writer-director Ryan Johnson, who he said is a great person to work with, and said that his writing is so clear it made their jobs as actors fun and easy. We can't wait. Chadwick Boseman has a fresh tease for Black Panther and Infinity War. When he sat down for a one-on-one -on -one with ComicBook.com's Jim Viscardi, Boseman said that he's absolutely ready for Thanos. In fact, he said, quote, Black Panther is ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. We cannot wait to see more of Black Panther in his own solo movie and see him in Infinity War teaming up with the rest of the Avengers. Melissa McBride has a new tease for Carol's Walking Dead Season 7 romantic possibilities, or lack thereof. The actress told Brandon Davis that Carol has got to get her mind right before she can even entertain any relationship. The actress said that once you have the realization that if you love someone, you're probably going to have to kill them at some point in this world, it kind of puts a damper on any romance. Kurt Russell has a new tease about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. He says that while the footage at Comic-Con that was shown was very cool, it did not really show you anything at all about the movie's story. He says the movie's story is very complex and deals with a lot of complicated family issues. Russell is, of course, playing Ego, who was revealed at Comic-Con as Star-Lord's mystery father. Of course, in the comics, Ego is usually a literal planet with a beard. Literally. Microsoft has some great news for Xbox and PC gamers. The Play Anywhere program launched this week with the release of ReCore. You can now buy any Microsoft exclusive title one time and play it on both your Xbox One console and your Windows 10 PC. Future releases, including Forza Horizon 3 and Gears of War 4, alongside many others, will be part of the Play Anywhere pro program. Finally, we wanted to wish a warm ComicBook.com happy birthday to Walking Dead star and friend of the site, Andrew Lincoln, who turns 43 years old today. Andrew, happy birthday. Whether you're bearded or bloodied or just maybe smiling for once on the show, your Rick is always our leader. Thanks, Andrew. All right, guys, let's go to Q&A. Remember that you can always tweet us with hashtag CBNow, at comic book, at Lucas Siegel, and we will answer your questions to the best of our ability. Let's go to Twitter. We have Wayne D. Music asking, Power Rangers movie trailer coming soon. Well, uh, there are about 10 other Lionsgate movies, literally, coming out between now and the end of the year. So it's a possibility that it could be paired up with any one of those. If I was a betting man, I'd say that they're going to try to pair it up with a movie that's more fitting towards the audience, which would be Doctor Strange. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a new Power Rangers movie trailer end of October, early November, to run in front of Doctor Strange. Uh, our next question comes from Intaj D, who asks, What is your take on the controversy surrounding Batgirl in the Killing Joke movie. Uh, for those unaware, in the Killing Joke movie, they added a whole big backstory portion that is basically a little Batgirl movie inside the movie. And in it, she and Batman have some fun, some romantic fun, some sexy times. That's We're talking about sex on the roof. Yeah. Uh, 
a lot of people are very angry about it. A lot of people are very confused about it. I'm always of the mind that adaptations can do just about anything with a character. Um, there was a romantic relationship implied a couple of times in the original Killing Joke comic, but obviously never explicitly shown in any way. There's no problem with a character, a female character, being a sex-positive character, um, but I can see how even if there's no problem with it, it may have been unnecessary for some viewers. All right, guys, that's all we have from Twitter. Remember, tweet us at comicbook, hashtag CBNow, and we will answer those questions. Let's shoot on over to Facebook and load this up. And, of course, we weren't ready to rock. I'm sorry about that. All right. Facebook questions. What do we got today, guys? We have quite a few comments. All right. Uh, do you think we'll find out Supreme Commander Snoke's real name? Uh, so Snoke, the big bad hologram in Force Awakens, a lot of people have a lot of theories about who Snoke really is. We will absolutely find out who Snoke really is. And the prevailing word from inside Lucasfilm is that he's a new character. We got to stop looking at old characters and going, oh, is he Darth Plagueis? Oh, is he Ezra grown up and turned to the dark side? He's probably not any of those things. Uh, as Pablo Hidalgo of the Star Wars Story Group likes to say, your Snoke theory sucks. Uh, let's see. Shang-Chi movie. A Shang-Chi movie could be cool. Um, I would be more... I would be less surprised, rather, to see a Shang-Chi appearance on one of the Netflix shows. Uh, he has been very closely linked with Iron Fist in recent years, so we could see something with Shang-Chi on Iron Fist. We could see something where he appears in a Daredevil season three, um, but I wouldn't look for him in the films anytime soon. Uh, let's get one more question here. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, will Infinity Wars have the new Avengers in it, such as Spider-Man? While no specific list of characters for Infinity War has been released yet, the Russo brothers did tease to us yesterday that they are looking at literally every single character that has ever appeared in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to be used in Infinity War. So it's possible that basically anybody could come in. I think what we're going to see is we're going to see two different factions of Avengers, similar to what we wound up with at the end of Civil War, and Spider-Man was a big part of that. So I would be very, very surprised to see Spider-Man left out of any future Avengers movie, including Avengers Infinity War. That's all the time we have today for Comic Book Now. Thank you guys so much for reading. Keep liking, keep sharing, and keep tweeting us Hashtag CB now with all of your questions. I'm Lucas Siegel.